In today's data-driven world, precise, near-real-time data is essential to efficiency and success. Each year, the city of Lincoln, on average, receives 25.9 inches of snow. The removal of this snow can be a difficult task. The city of Lincoln snowplows travel hundreds of miles in an effort to make this, the roads safe for public use. Currently, the city uses citizen band radios to report their position from driver to dispatcher. However, if a contractor is brought in during a heavy snowfall, their truck may not be able to be equipped with a citizen band radio. Snowplow Tracker alleviates this problem by providing easy to deploy tiny devices that automatically report their position, direction, and plow status back to the dispatcher. The information is then displayed on an easy to understand Google map that is highly customizable. The city of Lincoln receives a fair amount of snow each year and public safety depends on how fast that snow can be cleaned from the streets. According to the Federal Highway Administration, 24% of all traffic accidents occur on snow cover or icy pavement. If the city is able to remove the snow and icy quickly, it's able to lessen the risk to the general public in order to better monitor its snow removal assets, the city of Lincoln asked that a tracking system be developed. Our end goal is to provide city managers with the information they need in order to make logical decisions on just how to redirect their snow plows if necessary or possibly even to uh, change our plans in the future. In other words, it's to um, let them know where their resources are and how to allocate them more effectively. With that in mind, the team has designed a system that allows city managers to efficiently deploy snow removal assets to maintain the streets and thoroughfares that allow basic city functions such as law enforcement, fire and medical uh, services to continue during a snowstorm. The system has been broken down into four major components, including the hardware that gathers the data, the internal system that processes and stores the data, and the interface that displays the data, and the testing protocols that ensure accuracy and reliability. Data needs to be gathered from the snowplows themselves. We want to stick with something small and wireless since most of the uh, snow removal vehicles are private contractors who won't want our hardware permanently attached to their vehicles. Ideally, we would like to know where every vehicle is in the fleet at any given time. This isn't possible with the GPS hardware and communications infrastructure we use. Instead, we collect location data constantly and we only save it when we detect a significant change in position or heading. There's no reason to consider a street freshly plowed just because a snow plow is driven on it. Most of these plows can tilt their blades up or down, and only when the plate is down is any snow actually getting scooped. Otherwise, the driver is just traveling from one place to another. So, we're implementing a second hardware device. Both of these have sensors that can determine 3D heading, that is, heading, pitch, roll, and yaw. Snowplow tracker can be deployed to a multitude of servers using the GlassFish architecture. Once deployed, the servers listens for an email from the devices and extracts the necessary information from the message once it's received. The information is added to the database and then pushed out to the user interface. This allows for each snowplow's location to be reported in near real time, which is essential for smooth and efficient snow removal operations. As long as there are enough tracking devices, the system is able to fully support any number of snow removal vehicles. Deployment of the tracking devices is the only limiting factor. The goal of our user interface is to display where all the snow plows have been as clearly as possible. We have overlays that show each individual snow plow or the path that has been traveled. You can look at all the snow plows or each individual snowplow or summer drop. Additionally, there is an overlay for emergency snow routes that show up the snow removal plan. We also need to make sure that only relevant data is displayed. So only paths from a period of time after a snowplow will appear on the map.
major uh, issues that we are interested in are the point accuracy on the map, the total time to display the location of the snowplow, and if the lines are drawn correctly on the map. We have used JUnit testing to test various components of our product. All of these could be tested on the road in real time. And also by doing this, it would help us to know if there is anything that we could do that would give the user a better experience in using our product. Me and Alex are driving along, trying to uh, wait for this thing here to uh, start picking up some GPS signals. The idea behind this is we've got this mode, it's sending out or receiving GPS signals. Uh, whenever it gets a new signal, we decide whether it's a valid fix or not, and then send it out, uh, receive it with our server. For our uh, specifications, what we're doing is it takes a point from the GPS and then it, uh, it decides if it's traveled far enough since the last point. Uh, we're going for about you know, 50 to 100 feet. I think right now I have it set to 60 feet. So it decides if it's gone 60 feet. If it has, it'll send it to our server and we'll be able to see it on a map. Currently our system is able to support multiple snow plows. We have a control panel on the left side of our user interface which lists the snowplow ID and a unique color that will represent the route the snowplow has traveled. In the admin console we also allow an option to select which color you would like to use for a particular snowplow. Each marker represents a, an individual snowplow. This allows for a, a variable number of snowplows whether you're a small town like Waverly or a large city like Lincoln or Omaha, you can program a unique number of snowplows and track each of them in a single user interface. We basically set up 10 different modes and are tracking 10 different vehicles using our user interface system. Once the snowplow has started moving and a new point has been plotted, we are able to connect the points using a multicolored line. Each point is updated about every 10 seconds and depending on if there's data, new data in the database or not. Many programs on the market currently do not have a function that allows you to see the route that the snowplow has traveled. You can see the current location, but you cannot see the history of where the snowplow has gone. And that makes our product very unique for today's market. What makes our system unique is the small nature of our hardware. There are a lot of systems on the market right now that are bulky systems that monitor the fuel efficiency, uh, engine uh, RPMs. It's just hard. It's just functionality that is not needed. The, our our hardware right now is so small it can be used by either a city employee using a, a city-owned truck or a farmer just with a tractor that happens to be plowing a county, county road. It allows for even the basic uh, user to report their da the data and the roads that they've plowed. Additionally, a lot of the systems currently available on the market only report the position of the plow and not where the, the plow has actually been. It doesn't record anything to do with wh whether the street's been plowed, whether the streets have been sanded. Our system is uh, unique as a unique uh, solution for providing which streets have been visited by plows and when the, the plow will last visited them. Our current solution uses research modes. They're equipped with 3D sensors, short range radio, SMS for long range data communication, and a GPS receiver to actually gather this data. Uh, we plan to have our entire system just be able to uh, use different types of hardware if necessary. In the future, perhaps we would have, say, um, every driver carry just a, you know, just a mobile device, just a smartphone, uh, iPhone or whatever, and then have a mobile app that would actually gather this data and then transfer it back to our server. In other words, we designed our system to be able to handle just pretty much any type of data input.